Hi everyone, I trust that you are keeping well, I hope that you are keeping positive and I hope that everything is just sunshine on your side. I wish you guys a warm welcome here from a warm centurion and I hope that this video would inspire you guys and also give you guys a bit of a safety net as to if you are unsecure in terms of what your future should be looking like for 2021. So I thought I'd just give you guys a bit of feedback in terms of what we did during our, our lockdown time frame and then also what we are working towards for the end of the year leading up to 2021. So just as you guys as matrix of this year were unsure about what your future would be looking like because that nothing panned out the way that you were hoping that it would in terms of not being able to play, in terms of not having provincial opportunities, in terms of all those things that led up to maybe just a bit of a negative uh, look out as to what your possibilities could could be looking like going ahead So we also had the same issues with our players that had these dreams and aspirations as as They led up to the year 2020 entering into the program and then also maybe some of our senior guys coming over from their first year Working into their second year hoping that everything would would turn out a bit better so during the lockdown when it was still level five we were forced to have have a bit of Zoom meetings with the boys and also have discussions with them to try and keep them positive and then also leading up to where we are now where we are allowed to have a bit of training sessions. Um, the most important thing was to try and keep these guys to remain humble, to to remain positive, to remain still having that those stars in their eyes that they had when they entered. We were, we were quite excited having a great 2019 season, having good players come through the system, having great opportunities for the boys leading up to 2021, having this massive group with, with star players in the program, Craven Week boys, boys that really showed great potential coming out of their schools, having those boys in the program and promising them that, listen, this is going to be a great year for you. I mean, you have the opportunity to study, you have the opportunity of all these things that lie ahead for the next 46 weeks, and then smack, bam, March came and everything had to end. So... In these discussions that we had with the boys, and even even up to now, it was important for us to, or it is important for us to try and keep these boys motivated, and then also try and seek as opportunities for them as far as possible. So the first thing we always spoke to them about was was trying to be humble, as I mentioned earlier, trying to still keep the faith in terms of knowing why you are here, remembering why you enrolled into the program. And then I also want to motivate you guys as Matrix now of, of 2020 to say why do you have that dream, that, that seed that was planted for you, the flame that you carry for the, for the passion for the game, it should, should still keep on burning. It should, it should still be ignited in terms of um, ensuring that it is something that you want to use going forward and using as a stepping stone for yourself. So one of the things that we, we carried on talking to the boys about was always being ready to hit the gap. So if you take that and the example that we used there was when you're on the field and you are a player and the, 80, the, the whistle has blown and you're in the game and the coach always says, make sure that you've got someone on your side, make sure that you are ready to always offload, but you as the player that, that should be running those supportive lines should always be ready to hit the gap. And that was one of the things that we kept on hammering on about was even though you don't have the opportunity to train, even though you don't have the opportunity of playing at the moment, always make sure that you are ready to hit that gap. So when the opportunity presents itself, make sure that you are ready mentally and physically as well. So it doesn't always allow us to be able to, but there are certain aspects and there are people that we surround ourselves with that are, that are there and that are equipped to, to be able to ensure that you are ready, whether it be from... There's most of you probably going to be watching this video that are still grade 11 and that want to look into what your possibilities could be going into 2022 or what you should be looking out or playing towards for 2021. And then there's also the matrix and then also possibly boys that took a gap year this year that are keen on joining us for next year if they should still fall under the 20 under 20 bracket. So the main thing is that we, we want to encourage you and, and say that, remember, there is still a safety net. There is still opportunities. Even though you weren't contracted directly out of school, it's, it's not the end of the world. Here at Centurion Academy, Rugby Academy, we often explain to parents and also to players that we are here to develop two foundations for you. So the one would be an academic foundation. We are probably the only institution in the country that... in not force you, but entitle you to study full-time. So it is compulsory for you to study a full-time program with us. 
This allows us then so that once things like this happen, is that you always have something to fall back. Keep in mind the injury could happen anytime. COVID could happen every, anytime. Any of those things that could disrupt our rugby and then also our plans going, thinking oh, that I'm just going to be a professional player or I'm just going to be moving into a playing career. None of that. Life doesn't work out that way, that way always. And that is why it is important for us. And that's the backbone of our program. Is saying that it's compulsory for you to study. So it isn't always fun, but it is necessary because now there's always something to fall back upon. So there was always a reason for the boys during lockdown to still stay involved because they knew that they still had assignments due. They still had tests that they had to write. They still had to um, carry on with their online classes, all of those things. So that was one of the big advantages that we could offer our players where I don't think some of the other institutions um, in the rugby academy set up in the country actually could have provided their players. So that's one of the things that we, we, we are very proud of and it is something that actually does benefit at the end of the day for our players. So then the second part of the foundation is that we provide the boys is obviously the fun part. This is where the playing comes in and this is where the development comes in, the gym work, the strength and conditioning work, the skills development, the team orientation training, all those things, and then also the marketing of the players, all of that comes in, and that's fun. So for a whole 46 weeks of the year, wh when you are devoted to towards the program and when you are enrolled into the program, this is what we, we, we tend to do, and this is what we carry on doing, is from the beginning to the end, is making sure that you remember that study is priority number one. I know that the, some of the moms out there that, that, that would be watching this video would be quite interested in this, is the fact that you guys as parents know that your boys will be studying. And there's a big platform that enables you guys to study from higher certificates all the way through to diplomas and then also degrees um, that we provide you the opportunity with. And the guarantee that we give is that none of those classes will be influenced by any of the training schedules. So just to come back to, to some of the rugby aspects is, yes, there's there's great opportunity because we work on all three aspects of the game. We work on a 15 sector, we work on a 7 sector, and then also rugby league, filling up the whole 46 weeks of the program. And then during each one of those, there's opportunities for you to, yes, to get a provincial opportunity, yes, to play on a high level in one of the best club divisions in the country, to be able to represent your institution on a university level. Um, I mean as an institution like ourselves being 1,600 students countrywide, we actually have the bragging rights of what happened last year in Stellenbosch where we beat three varsity shield teams coming home victor victorious from that side and then also building up towards okay, where do we want to go next? What do we want to achieve next? And then not only keeping in mind that we're not here to develop a club, we're not here to develop a brand, we are here to develop the individuals and that is something that we guarantee and that's something that we're always going to be strive towards doing. So I want you guys to keep that in mind and then also the aim of the program is not only to develop you as a player but also to develop you as an individual. I think that's one of the most key factors in the program. So throughout the years that we've been running the program, we've learned, we've incorporated some different training techniques, we've incorporated some other aspects such as life coaching, such as um, in our rugby year program, we've actually developed that specifically for boys coming out of directly out of school and not knowing what they want to do, or they maybe just want to have not a five-day class schedule, but maybe just have classes three days a week, um, allowing for a bit of more breathing space than should someone of the full-time program have, but then also creating opportunity for them to be able to develop as individuals and making sure leading up throughout that year that they know exactly what they want to be doing if there is no more life after rugby. That also provides us with the opportunity of saying at the end of the day, listen, champ, you are good enough to carry on, so yes, let's carry on with another year or let's seek out opportunities for you or unfortunately, you're not going to make it as a professional player, but keep rugby as the foundation of who you are, who you as an individual um, could adhere to or could possibly blossom to be in some or other sector. So that is the most important thing to keep in mind as well is that there's always a possibility of your direction changing or you as an individual finding passion in something else and that is what we are here to make sure that you know what those passions are going to be or know what those possibilities could be at the end of the day. So enough said now, I'd like to invite you guys to have a look at our website at www.ca.ac.za. Make sure that you follow the 
the tabs all the way through to the Rugby Academy program. Go read through our, our two different program options. Go read through the Main Centurion Academy website where you can have a look at what the div different programs are that we offer here at the institution. And then out of that, you can also download the application form, send it through to one of us, and we'll have a look at it, and we'll contact you and say, listen, yes, you can come in, or please have a look at this, and then let's create another pathway for you before you come into an elite program like ours, or whichever way, we are here to assist you. We are here to enable you to be able to still carry on that fuel that fuel the flame that's burning inside you, whether it be uh, for your studies or whether it be as a player, or maybe you just want to collaborate on both of those. So make sure that you send that through. We have an open day coming on the 31st of October. So the open day for the Rugby Academy specifically would be based in Centurion and then also in Clarkstorp. So make sure that you book your space for the open day. Make sure that you don't just walk in on the day and expect everything to to happen for you, make sure that you make a booking and then know that you have the individual attention from one of our career guidance counselors or the coaches or whoever you need because you should have questions. It's always good to know exactly what you're heading in towards and not only jump into something. So we invite you personally now to attend the open day and make sure that you don't miss out and then secure your place for 2021. Keep in mind that our spaces are limited. We only take in two boys per position meaning that we're not only a feeding system to run on numbers, we actually give individual attention to our students in the classrooms and then also to our players on the field. So knowing that we're only going to be taking X amount of players in Centurion and only going to be taking X amount of players in Clarkstorp, make sure that you don't miss out. So secure your space for 2021. Feel free to contact us anytime. If you have any queries, make bookings with us. We are always here to assist as far as possible. Have a blessed day. See you guys soon.